It's spooky season and it's also spider season. So don't be surprised if you come across a tarantula on the trail or even in your home. Oh, hey, 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 whoa. Thomas Holland had this surprise guest in what? his Cedar Park garage last week. And at Wild Basin Preserve in Austin, another tarantula caught on camera. Central Texas has tarantulas all over the place. We have two species of tarantulas. We have the Texas brown tarantula, the Texas tan tarantula. Most of the ones that you see are the Texas brown tarantulas. They're also some of the largest spiders in North America and can have leg spans of over four inches. They're big and they're hairy and they just look scary. Tarantulas can be found worldwide, mostly in desert and grassland areas. At least a dozen states in the south and southwest U.S. are home to these creepy crawlers. There is a lot of arachnophobia, but these guys are beneficial. They're going to eat things that you don't want in your house. Like, do you like mosquitoes? Do you like fleas and ticks? Allison White is a research assistant at Wild Basin. She says one of the reasons of this season isn't spooky at all. Prime time for the males to come out and try to find a mate. It is their time to make more tarantulas. And they're on a tight timeline trying to make that connection before the cold settles in, which might explain why they're wandering out of nature Ooh. and into neighborhoods. They are just trying to find a good place to hide. They want to be away from really cold conditions. They also want to be away from really hot conditions. So in the winter, they're going to come inside or come into your garage. I just know that when I see a spider in my house, my first instinct is to scream. But these tarantulas are actually gentle giants. If you leave the tarantula be, it's not going to come after you. They're not an aggressive spider. They live in burrows under flat rocks or fallen trees. This is a molt. So this tarantula shed his skin. But word to the wise, tarantulas may not be the only ones in those burrows. There's the There's scorpion. The scorpion. Oh so use caution. While tarantula bites are rare and typically not worse than a bee sting, scorpions are a whole other story. In Austin, Chicago Windler for the National Weather Desk.